Park A is essentially a column to store file. However, there's one extra little thing it does. Instead of just storing every bit of information in one huge file, it just splits it out into what they call row groups. So in this case, we're going to split the first two rows into one group and the second two rows into a second group. In reality, these will be much bigger, much more rows, but just to see what happens is we store it like this. And as this is a columnar store, both of these are stores in a columnar format. So again, this is column one, split over the two files, column two and column three. And then what it does is this is actually just stored as files. So I kind of like to think of these as just text files that's stored in a columnar way. And instead of just storing one big table into one big file, it splits it out. And obviously you'll have probably quite a lot of these, right, as your, as your data gets big. So Parquet. So the good thing is it's an open source format, right? So that's why we get a lot of use because no vendor owns it. It's an open source format. I like to call it a hybrid column-based storage. Like it is column-based, but it does this thing where it splits the rows out before and makes them into lots of different uh, files. Again, great compression available because of the ability to compress column and store. It has really good compression. It's better at OLAP, which is analytical processing. This is when you're doing things like looking at columns individually, right? Especially when you're doing analytics, I might say, I want to select this column and this column rather than OLTP, which is transactional. And this is when you're adding rows. So if you're adding rows and not really looking at columns, probably a row storage is, is quite good. But generally when we do analytics, we want to look at columns. We want to say, I want to sum the sales column and break it down by the, the customer, something like that. One of the big downfalls though, is you can't edit Parquet files. You don't really edit them. All you can do is delete the Parquet file or add a new one. So this is, kind of has a big uh, impact here and makes it hard to store in a great database. We lose a lot of that um, formality and, and the niceness that databases provide because we can't go around edit if I want to change a line. It's very difficult.